Hello everyone and welcome to the ninth lecture and in today's lecture we are going to solve another problem related to design capacity of irrigation canal in our previous lecture lecture number eight we have solved problem number one and today we are going to solve problem number two so let's see what problem two is actually asking us to do so problem two is saying that compute the capacity of two branch canal we need to find capacity one thing you need to remind is that here capacity means by capacity we mean uh, duty on capacity right we have discussed a formula duty on capacity sorry this means duty on capacity duty on capacity duty on capacity right so mm, design on capacity right this means design on capacity this means our design on capacity so this is what we are supposed to find by design of capacity what do you mean you mean t o c i hope everyone knows the formula for design of capacity if you have listened to the previous lecture lecture number seven where we have discussed the formula for doc what was the formula for doc let me show it to you this one duty on capacity or full supply coefficient is area to be irrigated divided by q design right area to be irrigated divided by q design this this the formula so the formula is area to be irrigated divided by q design so let's move forward and here are two branches branch canals which are part of the same main canal for the given data I also mention which canal is more efficient actually we need to find two things we need to find first thing is capacity and the second thing we need to find is that after finding the capacity of uh, two branch canals which we uh, we are given here left and right after finding the capacity of these both canals we need to compare them and we need to uh, give our statement which one of these two canal is more efficient so let's start the first thing we need to do is we need to find the capacity or duty and capacity on both canals right and one more thing what what this is saying is that let me draw a figure on the basis of this statement the statement is actually saying that uh, we have a canal main sorry we have a one main canal and there are branches on left and right side of that canal something like this let's say uh, this is our main canal and there is one branch on the left side and one branch on the right side this is let's say our uh, left side canal and this is our uh, let's say right side canal right this is our main canal so uh, this is our why is this this is main canal and main canal is been there are two more branches of this main canal this is uh, left side right left side mm, branch sorry you can write it here this is left side 
branch can have and one is right side branch can have got it so what is given to us on the left side for this left side of a branch canal we are given some data as you can see here the Q design Q design is given to us Q design for left side is Q design is equal to 20 meter cube per second this is meter cube right and CCA is also given cultivable command area for this left side branch canal is given as 20,000 hectares what else is given IOI is given to us IOI is equal to 80 percent IOI is intensity of irrigation intensity of irrigation is 80 percent for uh, left side as you can see here this is all data related to the left side canal and b is given to us what is b b is period right crop period which is 120 days b is crop period to make things more easier i am writing the abbreviation of each here but we have already discussed all these things ioi is uh, intensity of irrigation c cca is Cultivable command area. We have defined all these terms. You need to go to lecture number seven to understand all these terms. What is QQ? Is our peak flow or design design flow or design capacity? Got it. So what we are asked to find we are we are asked to find uh, the capacity which means duty on capacity on both sides let's write down the data for the right side to right side uh, q design is given to us which is 8 meter cube per second and then cca is given to us cumulative sorry uh, cultivable command area which is 12000 for the right side 12000 hectares and then other thing which is given to us is IOI intensity of irrigation which is 50 percent so this is uh, data for right side right and B period is given to us which is similar to right side 120 test got it so what we are supposed to find we are supposed to find D O C duty on capacity on this side and duty on capacity for right side so we will find duty on capacity for both sides and we will compare and give our suggestion uh, that which one is more efficient got it so the formula for duty on capacity is a divided by qd right area to be irrigated divided by design flow so in this case we are given with the uh, Q design as the formula for DOC is uh, blue if we are asked to find DOC that means that we need area to be irrigated and Q design then we can find out DOC right we already have Q design right this one Q design is given to us but we don't have and the value of area to be irrigated so to find area to be irrigated this is equation number one we have a formula right area to be irrigated is equal to uh, ioi intensity of irrigation multiplied by cultivable command area 
this is the formula we have we have already discussed to find out the value of area to be irrigated so area to be irrigated is going to be equal to ioi multiplied by cca ioi for left side we are actually solving for left side right for ioi for left side is 80 percent 80 percent means 80 divided by 100 multiply by cumulative command area for this one is 20,000 hectares so what is the area for left side area to be irrigated for left side is going to be equal to when you will solve it you will get 16,000 meter uh, sorry hectares our value is in hectares right so we will get the answer in 16,000 hectares this is area for your uh, left side this is area for left side now uh, let's find it for right side let's draw right here to separate these two parts so for uh, right side our D or C is going to be duty on capacity for this is for left side right this is for right side so we got the area right now we need to put this area into equation number one and we will get D or C for left side so D or C for left side is going to be equal to area to be irrigated which is 16 uh, 16,000 divided by Q design Q design we already got the value of Q design which is 20 meter cube per second so the duty for left side is going to be equal to uh, when you divide divide these two terms you will get 800 right and the unit of duty is 800 hectares per cubic So for right side now, similar formula, same formula Q A divided by Q D, equation number two. So A is equal to I O I multiplied by C C A. So I O I for uh, right side is 50%, right? So 50% means 50 divided by 100 multiplied by C C A for right side is 12,000. 12,000 hectares, sorry. So the area to be irrigated will be equal to 6000 6000 sorry is 6000 6000 hectares it is going to be 6000 hectares so now d or c duty on capacity or duty for right side is equal to 6000 divided by qd right design capacity for right side is given to us which is 8 meter cube 8 meter cube per second and this is 6000 hectares which is going to be equal to 750 hectares per cubic So what's the point you need to uh, know the first thing is that let's highlight these areas which you have find and then these are the answers we were asked to find duty on left side is 800 hectares duty on right side is 750 hectares so this in second part what we were asked we were asked to also mention which canal is more efficient so we need to compare and uh, give our point that which which one is more efficient so which canal is more efficient more efficient canal there is a condition it, uh, it needs to satisfy 
uh, whichever the canal has higher value of duty you can write it down as higher the value of uh, capacity or duty on capacity more efficient will be the canal so efficiency of a canal and capacity are actually directly proportional you can say that uh, efficiency of a canal is actually directly proportional to the value of its capacity so in our case uh, left side left side canal has a uh, duty of how much 800 right 800 hectares per cubic and right side has a value of 750 hectares per cubic so according to the above statement which canal is going to be more efficient as you can see that uh, uh, let me yep left side is sorry it's greater than right side right so that means that as the value of capacity or duty on capacity of left side left side canal which is 800 is greater as compared to the capacity of right side canal which is say 150 that means that means that the right side canal is more efficient than left side canal right. so we were asked two things we got both things first thing we were asked was that we were supposed to find out the values of duty or duty on capacity of left side and right side we got them and the second thing we were asked was to mention among the both canals which one is more efficient so we have defined that too so according to our calculations the canal on right side is more efficient as compared to the canal on left side the reason is that higher the value of capacity more efficient will be the canal and efficiency of canal is directly proportional to the value of capacity so that was the reason so this was the second uh, answer to the second part of our uh, question numerical problem so that's it so uh, in next video we are going to solve another problem third problem that is going to be a bit more complicated as compared to these previous two numericals so step by step we will try to handle and solve complicated problems so see you guys in the next video till then goodbye take good care